As the age of exploration was on the rise, many cultures were stripped of all they had and robbed of their rich and diverse history. One of these civilizations was the Aztecs, made up of many tribes in the Central American region of Mexico. They were a 13th to 16th century civilization who formed powerful alliances and dominated their area, with their life being centered around their social structure and their religion. Aztec religion was very unique and had extreme beliefs. To learn more, we went to talk to Professor Nick Riley from the University of New South Wales to tell us more about their practices. There were three main gods in the Aztec's polytheistic religion, Shipei Totec, Quetzalcoatl and Tlaloc. Shipei Totec was a god of life, death, rebirth, deity, agriculture, vegetation and of course disease. Shipei Totec made the priests wear the skin of dead humans to reincarnate their souls with the bones from hell. Quetzalcoatl was a god of life, the wind and the morning star. Quetzalcoatl was a famous god who had the human heart ripped out of the body and then thrown down the steps of the temple as an offering to him, the god of life. Tlaloc was a god of water patterns and fertility. For Tlaloc, children's tears were collected before they were sacrificed and given to Tlaloc as an offering in order to receive fertile crops. Temples were constructed for the worshipping of these gods and were controlled by the priests. The priests also had to watch the stars and had extreme beliefs such that as every 52 years the sun would disappear and the world would end as we know it. In accordance with this, the priests had the citizens destroy all their belongings in a plea of forgiveness to the gods. If they survived this year, the event was repeated in another 52 years time. This goes to show how diverse the world actually was at the time of the Aztecs with their extreme beliefs compared to such as preferred to that of Christianity. The structure of the Aztecs was similar to many European cultures during their existence. Head of History at Cambridge, David Henderson, will inform us more about the Aztec social structure. At the top of the social structure in Aztec society was the emperor and noble, similar to the monarchy and in modern day England at this time. The Hoi Toito Oni, as he was known as, had the ability to make important decisions impacting the community and, and the whole of society massively, such as going to war. Nobles ran the government, owned the land, and were rich, wealthy citizens who liked to show their dominance over society. Priests and military personnel lived challenged lives, as priests had many roles to carry out, such as watching the stars for religion. Military personnel were under the constant threat of war and had to be ready for any situation possible. Commoners and slaves were the main working forces of Aztec society as they contri contributed resources to more important figures. Commoners had shelter in houses and were made to work hard to live with adequate, adequate resources. Slavery was not hereditary compared to other European cultures and were treated generally well by their masters. This has been a brief introduction to Aztec society exploring two key components of their history. As we continue into the future and more information is discovered about the Aztec civilization, their rich history will continue to be increased in modern understanding. Our jobs as historians aren't over yet.